Hey guys, Sam here with trafficisking.net. What you're looking at is a Google Analytics dashboard of one of my clients that I'm working with. Uh, he is a local business owner and I am doing a little bit of SEO for him. And I just wanted to show you a couple of things that uh, when you're looking at your Google stats, some important things that you want to uh, that you want to look at. Now, most people when they look at their Google Analytics, the, the, the thing they look at the most is the visits. How many visits they have. And a lot of people really get excited when they see, you know, a thousand visitors, two thousand visitors, whatever. This site doesn't get that much traffic because he's ranking for local keyword terms. However, uh, I want to stress to you that uh, the visits is not what's really important here. What you really want to look at is one the bounce rate now the bounce rate represents the percentage of visitors who enter your site and bounce now bounce meaning they have left the site they've gone out of the building uh, and instead of staying on the site and continuing viewing other pages within the same site these visitors have bounced so typically bounce rates if you're in the 40s uh, low 50s, you're doing pretty good. Um, anything over 60 uh, is uh, s some reason for concern because it's a high bounce rate and it's just letting you know that people are leaving. Uh, so, for example, here I have 169 visits. Now, out of that 169 visits, 43% 43 uh, bounced, meaning that they left. So, that leaves me with 72 visitors who stayed on the site and actually looked at the content. So if you have a high bounce rate, you want to pay attention to what is it on your site that's making people leave? Is it the content? Uh, are the graphics crappy? Um, you know, does it take a, a while for your site to load and people are just impatient and leaving? So these are the things you want to pay attention to if you have a high bounce rate. But if you're hovering in the low uh, 50s or the 40s, you're doing pretty good and people are, are, uh, are hanging around and looking at the content. Now, another thing you want to pay attention to is uh, the pages per visit. Now, here my client has almost three pages per visitor. And what that is telling me is that his site is sticky and people are actually going through the site. They're looking at different pages and they're staying there. Uh, and they're looking at all the other uh, content that he has on there. So that's good when you have uh, a visitor that's looking at more than one page because it's letting you know the site is sticky, they're hanging around longer, and if they're hanging around longer, then uh, you have a higher chance of converting that visitor uh, into an opt-in. Uh, maybe they can click on an ad. Uh, so that's good if you have uh, high uh, pages per visit. So those are the two things I wanted you guys to really focus on. Don't uh, look so much at the visitors because uh, the visitors don't really tell you anything. The bounce rate tells you if they're staying there, if they come to your site and they're leaving. Um, and if they're staying, how many pages are they, are they looking at uh, per visit? So these are the two things you want to focus on. And that's about it for this video tutorial. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you soon.